And we've got political analyst and expert John Daigle following this so very carefully. Uh, we appreciate you being here this morning. So now uh, we know President Biden stepping out uh, and, and uh, endorsing his VP Kamala Harris, but many prominent Democrats haven't quite taken that step, including uh, former President Barack Obama, who said in a statement, he just he's ready to support whoever the candidate would be coming out of the DNC. Yeah. So what's the next steps then? Well, and and. and Jeffries also just curiously uh, did not come out yesterday, and I think that's fine. I think Vice President Harris has made it clear that she not she doesn't want to be handed this, that she wants to go out and earn it. And I don't, I don't think it's unusual for a, a very important endorsement like Obama to wait until the dust settles a little. It's interesting. It just as recently as last week, President Biden, his team hit the accelerator pedal. It was no doubts about it. We're going yeah. forward. I'm going to run for president. I'm going to beat. Donald Trump, and then just like that over the weekend. Now, what happened? Uh, was this something that seemed a surprise to you? But what do you think? What triggered all this? It wasn't surprising. I mean, n n very few people know when he actually made that decision. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is sort of standard operating procedure at all, if he was even considering it, not to telecast that at all. I, I, I wasn't surprised that it was. Uh, it d didn't come out until he actually made the trigger. You don't want to be running and then sort of half in, half out at any point, right. even if you know you're going to get out. Got to be fully committed one way or the other. Now, it's, with full commitment, uh, former President Trump now, 100 days out, how, does this change the Republican strategy at all? Um, how does it impact the way they look at things? Yeah, and that's the amazing thing. As momentous, as historic as that decision was yesterday, it doesn't change the calculus of this race all that much. I mean, the 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 divisions and the politicizing of the country are really baked in. We're still talking about a very small number of voters in, a, in a six or seven states who will ultimately decide and doesn't change it dramatically. It does It does give J.D. Vance a much more important role because of where he stands with working class uh, voters in those states. So, side note, so you, when you say very small number of voters in yeah. a limited amount of states, who are you referring to undecided? Well, so what, what we're talking about in general, the phrase is six of six. We're talking about about six percent of voters in six swing states who are likely voters but yet still persuadable. And it's a number that is Roughly the equivalent to the number of voters in Duval County. That's amazing. That's amazing stuff. And so much to happen. Any thoughts on who Kamala Harris could pick to be her running mate yet? Anybody on the short list? Well, I mean, in politics, whenever you, anytime you make a move, you're going to upset some people and make some happy. The key block right now is going to be working class Democrats, union members. Those are the group that, that Harris will have to work hardest to get. That's why J.D. Vance is important because he appeals to that same group. So I think if she went for somebody like the governor of Pennsylvania, Shapiro, that would help her in one of those key swing states. Well, and again, that is assuming that she becomes the nominee. I know there is so much, so much happened in just 48 hours. Who knows what can happen in another week's worth of time. John Daigle, thank you. And you can find our latest coverage on Biden dropping out of the race for president on our First Coast News app, firstcoastnews.com as well. And we'll update you right here live as we do learn more. And we're learning more all the time. Jess?